Good morning everyone. Morning. So the next stop on our trip we are today, we are in Raleigh in North Carolina. So really excited, we've got a few things planned. Some of it we're going to wing again yeah. and some of it we, we have made a bit of a list of places to go. Yeah, so we did like the 100 mile drive again this morning. Oh, I, I love, I know you do the driving, but I just love, I love the scenery. I just love looking out the window. I love these like long they drives. They have been nice drives, like very lot of tall trees. It doesn't feel like we're doing that many miles because it's a very nice scenic drive. Yeah, if this was 100 miles back in the UK, it seemed yeah. like forever and it'd be boring. Yeah. But over here, I'm just like, oh. Yeah, it's been really nice. But yeah, uh, want some barbecue today, some North Carolina barbecue. Oh, you've been banging on about this barbecue. You're really looking forward to it's this. It's meant to be good. Don't <laughs> let me down, North Carolina. Don't let me down because you promised me that this is a really nice barbecue place. Well, that's what the reviews <laughs> say anyway you on were Google. In, you were in charge of researching the nice barbecue place. What I, can I, I say? I trust that you've picked somewhere good. When we first had a look at what to do in Raleigh, it kept coming up to go to Pullen Park. So this is where we come to first off. So a bit about Pullen Park. So it was established in 1887 and it was designated as the first public park in North Carolina. So it's also the fifth oldest amusement park in the US and the 16th oldest in the world. So there is a little carousel just around the corner there that it does say on here somewhere. So it started operating in 1911. So I think it's open, it's indoors. It might be a couple of dollars to go on. It does on. look open. There's also like a train, a little train that goes around the park I as well. I think that's closed today. I think it said at the entrance it was maybe closed. Oh, I missed that sign. Because there's a big lake behind as well where you can, in the summertime, you can go on pedal boats. Yeah, so. you can just see them here, these blue things. You but, can hire pedal boats. But we're lucky we've got a nice sunny day anyway, because. When we started off in Washington DC, we were coats, hats, and as we're going down south, we notice each time it's just getting that little bit warmer today. I was like, you know, I'll maybe leave my coat off today. So it is getting warmer. So hopefully by the time we're down to Florida, it's very warm. So the park is free to come in. The activities like the paddle boats, the carousel, you do have to pay for the train. But it's nice if you could paddle around this little lake. I think it was called Lake Howell. It was named after somebody. I forgot what it's called, the person's name is, but it's nice to actually see a bit of colour because there's some flowers out and stuff. So Yeah, it is nice. We haven't really seen that so far. Not well. really. But uh, I'm just looking about size-wise for the park as well. So it's roughly 66.4 acres. So it's like so, yeah, it's 66. A nice That's like round. 33 proper football pitches, not the American football one. And I'm not you calling it the S word. <laughs> I'm not saying that. So we can't come all the way here without riding a 113-year-old carousel for two dollars each really can we i just hope they're like the woods in good condition because i've eaten quite a lot so far right so i got up it's like creaking a little bit is that okay nice little carousel ride there especially for two dollars but while we were on it I said to Stace <laughs> so in the UK there's a sit old sitcom called Only Fools and Horses and there's a guy on there called Trigger he's like a road sweep and he's got a broom and he was getting an award for having this broom for 15 or 20 years or something like that and he said I've had this broom 15 years and it's only had like 12 new heads and 10 new handles this old broom has had 17 new heads and 14 new handles in its time. <laughs> and I said, Stacey, is it like this where this is 113 years old but everything's been replaced? I think some of it was, it was creaking a little it bit, was so creaking. some of it was still definitely old. In the park as well, there's kiddie play areas, but we're not going to show those because there's kids on them. But one thing we can never get our head around is how does barbecues like in the park like there's picnic areas but then there's barbecues next to all the picnic areas so you can bring your own charcoal and whatever and then just start grilling up a steak in a park that just seems weird to me so we've left the park now and we've come to the north carolina museum of natural sciences so this museum is the largest no it's the oldest 
largest i'm thinking of my order for that barbecue after not the largest now it's the oldest museum in the state of north carolina so it's free to go in they're always pretty cool to have a look around so we're gonna go we'll head inside now uh, filming wise in there you know in museums if they are busy we don't want to disturb others if it's quiet we'll try and vlog it a little bit if not we'll just put loads of footage and pictures over you don't want to talk and loud when someone's trying to look at stuff right so as soon as you come in there's nobody around so we thought we would just show you this quick they've got this huge whale skeleton they, it says it's a right whale never heard of a right whale before but look at the size of it that skeleton is huge stace you just go for example so stacy's like i'll tell you five foot four five foot five look at that it could swallow your whole so it was saying that researchers were following this particular whale i think it was female and obviously they were following it for years and then you know just monitoring i suppose activity where it swims, and stuff. It's activity and things like that just for research and they found it i think it said in 2004 she so was just floating in the sea dead and i think they said that she was probably hit by a boat because it said right whales are otherwise known as urban whales because they swim close to land so they're more likely to get hit by things like boats but i think they preserved it here and then they're going to research things by i think it said on the information board they're going to research the impact that boats have on injuring whales and things like that and how much impact it takes to, to kill one unfortunately <laughs> So we didn't realize that there's actually two buildings. So there's the building behind where the big globe is. And then if you just walk outside, hopefully it's not raining across this bridge, there's even more in the building across the street. So just near the museum now this is the north carolina state capitol i always want to go for say state capitol building but there's no building at the end of it so it's completed in 1840 and apparently it's one of the finest and best preserved examples of a major civic building in the greek revival style so i believe we saw the uh, virginia one yesterday in richmond and that was in a more of a french style and then we saw the one in washington dc and I haven't got a clue what style that one was in. So as you can see, it's uh, not currently open because you've got all the fencing all around it. Uh, it's apparently meant to be reopening summer 2024. So we're a bit early for that. Admission is free for the tours. So if you're wanting to come and do that, make sure it's reopened again. And, and maybe you can book them online. Not 100% sure about that. Okay, so we've come to Sam Jones's barbecue now. I am very hungry uh, it's like a whole hog wood smoked barbecue place it looks really cool inside it's got really good reviews I'm very very interested in the vinegar barbecue sauce I think there's two there's a, a sweet barbecue and a vinegar based so uh, I'll be slathering my pork with all kinds of goodness Wow look at that so I've had chopped barbecue which is basically the whole pig just chopped up so it could be anything and then i've got cornbread sweet slaw and the baked beans which i've got meat in them as well so i've got double meat really i've gone for the pulled chicken sandwich with barbecue sauce so i could have had the vinegar sauce or the barbecue sauce so i went for the sweet barbecue one but there's so much chicken on there i've just tried a fry as well and they are so good they're like um, five guys fries that's what they, yeah, that's what they're very similar to. Oh God, there's so much chicken on here. Some of it's fell off, but you, don't you worry, I will get that. That is so nice with the sweet barbecue sauce and then the chicken's just juicy, tender, smoky. Oh, that is some nice barbecue chicken. So I'll try my chopped barbecue now. You can actually see there's little bits of chopped up like pork crackling in there. Oh, and just poured it load of this vinegar sauce on the pork as well is it like a barbecue sauce or it watery more watery didn't it oh my that is the nicest pork i've ever had and it's it's like a spicy vinegar barbecue ish right. sauce right it's not thick it's like it's not thick like this a typical one. barbecue sauce i mean sauce. i'll pour some out because i'm gonna pour it all over but look that's the single-handed best barbecue pork i've ever had and 
the beans have got like big chunks of beef in. Looks like beef burger. I'll try them quick because I do love a barbecue bean. Outstanding. So I've just tried the cornbread. Uh, it's not like a normal cornbread. It's very dense and heavy like this. Feels like it weighs about four pounds. It's really heavy. Uh, feels a bit fried as well. So not too sure about that one. Right, we're all done. Absolutely stuffed. Polished it off, apart from that bit of cornbread because I still wasn't uh, wasn't fully on with that cornbread really. Everything else was lovely though, I really enjoyed mine. But as we were getting the sodas, we noticed there was one on there called, you know, you had your Pepsis and your Dr Peppers, but there was a chia wine on there and none of us had ever heard of it, so we Googled it and it's actually, like it's based in North Carolina, so we thought, well, we're gonna have to try it, seeing as we're sat here eating barbecue in North Carolina. So we've just gone get one, and as I Googled it as well, it came, one of the questions came up like, is chia wine the same as Dr Pepper? So I love Dr Pepper, so I'm, I'm gonna try it. it. It's very red as it was coming out of the machine. I was like, right, okay. So is it gonna be like Cherry Coke or Dr Pepper? Ooh, it's not like Dr Pepper or Cherry Coke. It's very, I think it said it was made from black cherries mostly it's not it's not nice it's okay probably in small doses it's a bit like the taste of a cherry cough sweet like yeah. the syrup inside yeah it's a bit it's okay it tastes a bit like a cough medicine i would say i could yeah i'd have a little bit but i could drink loads of it but we've had to try it when it's from north carolina so just around the corner from the sam jones barbecue just behind me around about here is Viridi, that's how we're pronouncing it, like a chocolate factory. Now that you can do a free self-guided tour. So we did that, they give you a sheet and it tells you all the process. Sadly, nobody was making it whilst we were there, so no free samples. It's not the biggest, but no, it's just like a nice cool. little free tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's cool. Just go around and see them making it and stuff. Uh, but they also sell chocolate and they sell ice cream. So we decided to have some ice cream. Oh, first time I've moved it, all oh, this chocolate caramel. So, so I've had, Vanilla soft serve with caramelized cocoa nibs and caramel sauce. Now I've tried one of these caramel nibs just sneakily and they are delicious. Sadly didn't sell them, but I probably would have brought two bags full. So it's nice after the barbecue for something sweet, but there's probably as many calories in this as I've just eaten in that barbecue. I'm on an holiday, it's worth it. I was laughing because we, as we were waiting for the ice cream, the lady behind the counter said, would you, because it smelled so nice in there, said, would you like to try a sample of chocolate while you're waiting for the ice cream? And we were like, oh yeah, of course, cause just because it smelled so nice. So I actually showed which ones we could sample and I had like the dark chocolate and sea salt. And I put it in my mouth, I was like, oh my goodness, it was really nice chocolate. And then the, and then before she had a chance to give Kev any, the ice creams came, so she abandoned that then. And there's me like, oh, this chocolate's like so nice. And Kev never got to try a piece, but you've got your ice cream, but oh, look at that. I've had cocoa nibs and cocoa crispies. Like Kev says, probably more calories than the barbecue we've just had, but we're on holiday, right, Kev? You said it. Ah, uh, I am bothered. Okay, so on the way back to the car park, we managed the first Starbucks we went and they've got the mugs. To be fair, the only <laughs> one like in this area. Yeah, there's not many around no, here. No, we had a, a one in one chance and we, we scored. <laughs> but yeah, we've had a really nice day in Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been really cool. Like I say, we're just, just really enjoying our time in the States. Just each day we wake up, it's just somewhere new for us and yeah. just really enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> Two full bellies off that ice cream in the barbecue. Oh, I know, I am really full. And <laughs> I think we've got like 100 mile now. 100 mile drive now. <laughs> so yeah, we are going to be stopping at a uh, stopping at another place in North Carolina so stay tuned for that in the next video yeah. where we'll have a day somewhere else but yeah we're just having a great time as always love it over here we eat too much <laughs> and that's never a bad thing is it until you get home and but, go on the scales but no let's go do that drive and I'm gonna admire the nice views you're gonna go sleep and more <laughs> I'm gonna go I, won't, I won't go sleep over here because I don't want to mess out on anything from seeing anything so I won't go to sleep I'm not I won't. Okay, well, we'll <laughs> tell you in the next video if she went to sleep or not. <laughs> no, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.